I basically have designed a line of children's toys. I have a four-year-old and a six-year-old. Well, metalworking wasn't really the best thing to do while I was around my children at home in my space. And I was trying to come up with some ideas of other materials to work with. So I started sewing one day and that sort of was my jumping off point. And I started out making the one with the cars that is just a figure eight track. Through the years, my work has always been based on a circle. And so, it, which is kind of just something that I, I guess I'm drawn to. And I actually kind of got my idea from the jewelry bags that open all the way up, the way that they draw. And I, I started thinking about the play mats and making um, interactive sort of toys that would open up and be something that you could play with, but then you could draw it up and keep the people or the cars inside of it and then hang it up in your space or carry it with you. That's where I have the most fun when I'm working is putting all the details in my work. Cutting it out and doing all that is just sort of like, you almost feel like a machine. But then when I sit down and I start sewing and putting things together, that's when it's exciting for me. All artists make things because they get something out of it. And for me, it's like, it's that excitement. And my own, it's sort of my own personal therapy, just to be able to be in my studio and be quiet. And, um, and that the quietness of sewing really appeals to me. For me, conceptually, to think about one person sitting there hand stitching something and perhaps transferring their energy. I don't know, something about making things more precious, that I'm sharing that with other people and that they find value in a handmade toy. I think with a lot of my totes, I want the child to be able to manipulate things within the tote. So I have the I Love to Hike one that has the trees and they can move the trees around and put little people in there and set it up and have it a certain way one day and then the next day could be completely different. They could even move the trees off of the tote completely and like have them over here and the tote here. And I came up with a garden tote and I thought it would be cool. I actually wanted the children to be able to like actually plant like a little flower. So I came up with the idea to like create this garden scene and leave a lot of greenery and plant these green, you know, like sow these green bushes. And so the child will, the tote will come with a container of little flowers that will, they can pull out and plant and put on the bushes or like plant them along the little stone walkway or however they want. And it can constantly change, you know, they could actually even create like a little garden where they square it off or, you know, just however they want it to be. And I also have the campfire tote, which is a pretty popular tote. I mean, people have emailed me for that and asked me about that one um, and have said to me, I've been searching everywhere for this tote. And that one actually comes with three logs, basically, and this is all plush. It has a lot of hand sewing in it, so that's why it, it, this one actually takes a lot of time. But it comes with fire flames, logs two sticks, four marshmallows, and the marshmallows all can slide on to the end of the stick um, in order for the child to, to, you know, set up their campfire and then roast their marshmallows, basically. And then I do another one that I call an island that has like a little plush bridge that connects the beach to the island. I actually had, um, one of the one of my customers that have had bought that tote for me off of Etsy, she sent me a picture back where her son had um, set it up like a little pirate ship and had you know had like the pirate ship and then all of the little characters over here and the bunny tote. Op when you open up the tote, it opens up and there's a little tree and the tree's hollow and inside of the tree is a little bunny and he has a flat bottom so you can pull the bunny all the way out and kind of stand him next to the tree and there's little circles on it. it's kind of a little abstract there's circles that go around the tree you can hop the bunny from you know one circle to the next and then you can also take the bunny and push him down inside of the little tree and, and hide him completely 
right now I'm sort of focusing on trying to do different craft shows. And when I set a date for a craft show, it sort of pushes me. It's kind of like have a sh having, as far as fine art goes, having like a show. I have to make art because it's just a part of me. And it's just definitely something that I need to do to keep my own sanity. And so really, I, I w in like the big picture of things, I would love to like keep moving with the, the handmade toys to where it sort of makes them that much more a one of a kind piece. Mm -hmm.